everyone. Today I'm going to be doing what we have been waiting for for many, many months. Those of you who are newer to my channel may not know this, but um, I was having some issues with my brushes, um, getting a little curve at the tip of the point, and then these cheaper ones were getting a little splayed at the edges. You can kind of see that there. But anyway, I was told, and the same with this one too, has a little bit of a curve at the tip and you can see a couple little hairs that are splayed. Uh, this one, one of my favorite brushes, is my worst. These are all synthetics, um, but you can see, if I can find the turn here, that this one, this one is really bad. If I can find it, oh yeah, there it is. It's curved right there at the tip. Um, you can see it bending a little bit to the right. You have to be really close up and excuse my dry hands. <laughs> but anyway, somebody had told me that, and this one's splayed also, and a little curved at the tip. See how the tip curves? The, and then this one came like this, bent, all bent up. It's supposed to be more like a filbert shape and it leans to the right, all of that. This one has some splayed areas. Uh, the hairs have flailed out. I had unfortunately cut many of them off down at the tip that were really bad. You can see where I cut them. Um, I didn't care a lot about this brush, but I'd love to have it fixed. So I was told boiling water, dipping them in boiling water. Of course, you don't want to reach the ferrule. The ferrule is the metal part of the brush here. That is where the hairs are glued in place. So you don't want to go that high or it's going to loosen the glue and all my hairs will fall out of my brushes. So I'm going almost to the point where the um, brush hits the ferrule just below that and I'm hopeful that this will fix my problem I don't know this is just below boiling right now I just took it off the stove so, and then I've got this little thing here that came with something. I don't know what it is. It might be a knife holder, but I'm just setting my brushes in that so that they can dry. This one is the one I'm the most curious about. It's my favorite travel brush. It's my only travel brush because they're so expensive. Um, but I'm just going to hold this in the water. This is also synthetic. This is an Escoda Versatil. Escoda does make uh, sable, I think they're sable, travel brushes but I wanted to try the synthetic and the synthetic is awesome. Actually, it's soft like sable. Maybe just slightly firmer, but not, not by a whole lot. Maybe more like a squirrel. Now this one is flailing out in the water. Oh, I guess it's just, I see. When I pull it up, it doesn't. Let's see, guys. Holy smokes, did it work? No, 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 it didn't work, no. Let's see, I'm just gonna squeeze all the water out and see what happens at the tip. Nope, the tip is still curved. You can see the little curve right there. It's curving to the left. I'm sorry, my camera's bouncing. I just bumped it. But there's a little curve there. That's what I'm trying to fix. It is not working. I don't know how long I have to hold these in the water. This one I'm going to hold in two. Let me match my ferrules up so that I have them in the same spot. Let's see if that helps. This one's really bad. I'm just going to hold them all in there, but I need to line the ferrules up so that they're all in the same depth. I've read online and somebody told me, one of my viewers told me that you can do this. I think it was the real Mithril that told me. Um, I'm sorry if I have the person wrong, but I think that's who it was that told me this. And um, I, I wouldn't try it on my real hair brush, uh, 
brushes, but I wanted to try it with my synthetics to see what happens. Okay, this one is not, I haven't even touched it. And look at that. See, it's not helping. You can see the curve to the left and then all these flayed, all these flayed areas right down there. See that? They're all flayed out. So I'd say that this is a huge fail, but I'm going to finish. I'm going to continue to soak these for a while, and then I'm going to see if oh, this one was another one. I'm going to see if after soaking them for a while, once they're dry, if, the, if I see a change. So I will get back to you Update. on that. Update. I have... Uh, I think I'm getting somewhere, but I'm not sure. I've been wiggling my brushes, and um, my worst ones are these three. And I've just been wiggling them in the water, and I think that they are starting to straighten. Now, they've been in the water. They've probably in the, been in the water constantly for anywhere from three to five minutes. And I'm starting to see a slight improvement. Although maybe it's just me. <laughs> this one got better. It still has a little flailing. You can see the bristles out to one side. Here, let me put my arm up there. See, I still have that. And I'm hoping that this brush will lay more flat. I think part of the problem is the way this ferrule is. I think the ferrule, I think it was manufactured wrong, but I don't know. Water is hot. It's not boiling anymore. I wonder if I should just do this over the stove and keep it boiling the whole time. Maybe that's what I need to do. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, my water has come to a boil. It's only been about a minute and it was pretty hot to begin with. Hot enough for a cup of tea, although I wouldn't have drank from it. I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit so that it keeps boiling, but not too vigorously, because my hand's gonna burn. Okay, my brushes are just barely damp, and I wanted to show you this one. This one would have been laying to the side. It would have stretched over. I, when I got this brush, it had come from Amazon and it wasn't protected. It was in a big box with just one brush in it and it was pounding against the side of the box, I'm sure, and it ruined the brush. And they sent me a new one. Um, I actually have three of the same size. They sent me a new one and then one time I ordered it, not realizing I already owned it. So I do have three of them, but this one now is fixed. So it worked with this Da Vinci Cosmotop. That kind of a bristle, it straightened this right out and I'm really pleased with the way it looks. Now if it dries and pops back into the sh shape again then then we'll know. Um, now this one, let's see, it looks like it has improved as well. It's not perfect, but I do see some improvement. There is a little, little bit of a tip turning to the right there. Can you see that? Catching it in the light. Just a little bit. But that has improved significantly as well. This one, my triangle or pyramid brush. That one's still, I don't know, it's not bad. You know, the big part, it, it looks curved, and that's just the way I've dried it. But, see, I can lift that up. But the tip, you cannot straighten. If it wants to bend, it's going to bend. That one, whoop, nope, see that at the tip? Bending to the left, and the hairs have separated. See that? I think that might still be a problem. See how it's bending? So that one I don't think fixed. I don't think so. I'm trying to see here. If it, mm. 
Now, I don't think that one's fixed. Now, this one, it is not fixed either. I don't know if you can see these hairs, but they are still sticking out to the side. There, now you can see them. That did not help them to go back into place. The tip on this brush was fine. It's still usable. I'm just going to have to cut the rest of those off. And then last but not least is my favorite travel brush. Let's see. Whoops, I bumped the camera. I'm sorry. I think it's still bent a little bit. Yeah, it is. I can see it bent here. If I could just get the tip to focus. There, I had it for a second. See that light end? The light area on the end. If I can get it to there. See, it's still bent to the left. So I'm not sure. if the, the, It may have improved a little bit. If, I don't know. There, I had it in focus there for a minute. Oops. I think it is bending to the left still. See the very, very tip of that? So, I would say it's a partial fail. My favorite brushes... Although I, I think I do see a little bit of improvement. Now, this has not improved. When I look at it with the naked eye, it has not improved. It is definitely bending to the left. You can see it right there when I catch the light just right. And that little bitty bit is all it takes to screw, screw up a painting. When you want to get a fine line, that's the whole reason you buy a brush that comes to a good point. This one improved though dramatically. That one did improve and I'm impressed with that. This one did not. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. So this one did not. It's still bending to the left. This one there may have been a little bit of an improvement on but no. It, like I said it is still bending to the left right at the tip there. Um, you can see the bend. This one is bending to the right. This one is bending to the right. This one, let's see, that one's bending to the left. So, I don't think it works all that great. You know, if you want to try it with your brushes, go for it. You know, it, I think I do have some slight improvement and maybe I need to do it a few times. So I'm going to paint with them and see what I think. If I feel an improvement, I mean, I'll know. I'll be able to tell if I'm painting. So I'm going to go ahead and paint a little bit, and then I will let you know in another video how things went. So everybody, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to people. God bless you all. Bye-bye.